join up to the strike force. I think the strikers have started really well. I'm, I'm liking the fact that they've got a good balanced side. Um, we've been able to see the, the strength of their spin department at a couple of occasions, on a couple of occasions. We also saw Brendan Drew come into the side in Brisbane in the last game and, and supplement the spin bowling and add to the fast bowling attack. Um, their top order batting is going very nicely. The captain Michael Kling is playing well and Daniel Harris is having an impact. Uh, Tom Cooper and, and Cameron Borges have been outstanding in the middle order. They've really uh, a couple of times had to rescue the ship and done well, but also when the team has been going well, they've added the cream on the cake as such. So, so I feel as though their balance is great. Um, they probably haven't utilised their middle to lower order as much as they would like in some regards. Richardson's a fine striker of the ball and hasn't had much opportunity yet. Um, Crossway had a little opportunity batting at three and didn't really grab it, so that's another player that can impact for them. So they've got plenty of really good strengths. Um, their key players are playing well. And, you know, they're sitting second on the table or just behind the scorches now on the table in a position where they can really make a run at the finals. All the young players have been going really well. Um, they haven't had great opportunity as, as such to dominate games, but I think what they have done is fulfil their roles nicely inside the group. Um, Kane Richardson, I think, is a really good example. The, you know, the focus has probably been on Alfonso Thomas and even Johan Boter at times, uh, but Richo has really come in and, and taken some early wickets. He's bowled at critical times in games and done a great job. Uh, James Muirhead in Brisbane looked like he was enjoying his first opportunity in the big time um, and he got a couple of wickets so his confidence no doubt will be sky high because of that. Um, and you know the Tom Coopers of the world who aren't necessarily young players anymore but are really looking to entrench themselves in the side uh, are coming on and having a real impact. So it's a nice blend, there's some real good experience, there's some younger players who have got a bit of experience and know the game and then a couple of real babies who are just loving every second of it I'd expect. You know, there wouldn't be much better lifestyle as a, as a young bloke of playing professional cricket every three or four days and playing in front of good crowds and travelling around Australia. Um, being on television, uh, you know, live TV is all, all fun. So, so, yeah, I'm sure a lot of that, but I think what you do see is the best players actually draw on that um, almost adrenaline hit, uh, the fun of being the showman. <clears throat> and I think that's probably what you're seeing at the moment. The best players, the cream rises to the top. And that's probably, for my mind, the greatest thing about the Big Bash League at the moment. We're seeing some young players who may not have necessarily been well known prior to the league, but are really grabbing their opportunities. And of course, we're seeing some superstars, the Warns, the Haynes, and these sort of guys who are, McGill even, who are, are showing the world how good they were and how good they can maintain their skills and how well they can continue to play. So it's a really nice blend, I, I think, at the moment of young and old. And from a striker's perspective, they've certainly got a good blend of both of those.